Hi everyone, welcome back to some more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I'm back where we left off and I'm very excited to continue. Hope you are as well. And uh, yeah, let's get back to it. So, um, I'm going to do some more stuff around here. Anatological Ruins. I see you're approaching the signal. Mm -hmm. The source appears to be somewhere in the canyon's ruins. Okay. Just somewhere. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, she's running ahead again. You <laughs> <laughs> gonna take you home. Whoa. Is that not it? The ones who helped me out back in Midgar. Hmm. And I don't think they so need cool. an introduction. Y'all were at the Shinra building, weren't you? Tell me. Was Wedge with you? Or did you see him? <sighs> if you can tell me anything, anything at all, please. Wedge, Barrett. he... I'm sorry. Don't be. Just... I need to know. After the Sector 7 plate fell, the things we saw and heard. It must be horrifying. All the carnage. It was hell. We wanted to help. We really did. It's so cool but that we're how? reuniting with them. It all seemed so hopeless. That's when the call came from the folks at Avalanche HQ. We learned it was the company that dropped the plate, and that they were going to drop another unless we stopped them. HQ needed volunteers to help storm the Shinra building. This was our chance. We knew it was the right thing to do. All of us. Wedge and I ended up being assigned to the same truck. <sighs> we'll infiltrate the building via the underground parking facility. From there, we make our way up. Taking each and every floor. Hmm. We've lost contact with Lucia's team. <sighs> I think we have to assume they're all. That's enough. First, we'll check in with Matt. On it. <sighs> Let me just scooch on over here. I'm Wedge with the splinter cell. Uh. Barrett's crew, right? Mm -hmm. Here, uh, try one of these. No. It'll help you calm down. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Mm. Go on, eat up. <laughs> Our team was heading upstairs to take out the president. I know what you're thinking. Avalanche doesn't do that. But when the plate fell, the rules changed. <laughs> Which is struggling with the stairs. We know how that goes. Come on, man. Get the lead out. Don't want to be left behind. Hey, thanks for the assist. Help me out here. 
All right, we're almost there, boys. Huh. Yeah. Uh, At long last, we're gonna take back our world, find the bastards who stole it, and send them to hell. Yeah! yeah. I've got friends up there who need to know we're coming. Oh, uh, sorry, but I didn't want them to get hurt, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Go, I'll catch up. Ray, we were all fired up, ready to fight. That's when he made plans with him. They witnessed it. So I couldn't believe it. It was him. Thank you. <laughs> Damn it. Darren, it's all good, bro. Huh? Hey, y'all heard that, right? That was Wedge. Barrett, those who pass on become one with the live stream. Mm -hmm. I know what you thought you heard, but it was probably just the wind. <sighs> Whatever. In times past, the Cetra came to fonts like these to give thanks to the live stream. There aren't many left, so we wanted to help preserve the few still standing. It felt like the least we could do, you know? For all those who returned to the planet. Hey, Barrett, why don't we give them a hand? Help them spruce things up. There anything we can do for you? I don't know. Restore the planetary fonts? They're this region's main source of energy. And kind of like relief valves for the life stream. But when they're as busted as this one here, you can't even get close to do repairs. Mako's way too dense. So we figured we'd use a probe. Fix the fonts remotely. Oh. Huh. Thing is, little guy's just too old. Probably better off in a junkyard than with us. <clears throat> Perhaps I can be of service? Robotics is one of my areas of expertise. Cool. Good aim. Meet Robot Chadley. <laughs> <laughs> or Robo Chad if you prefer something abridged. Robo Chad. You should now have complete control over him. Oh God, it's Come Robo Chad. On. Ask him to do something. <laughs> I should go back to meet up with Chadley after this. Alrighty, you guys, I'm gonna store the front with Robo Chad. <laughs> In Gears and Gambits, you must program robots with gambits and actions, then send them into battle with the aim of reaching the center of the spring and vanquishing the enemy leader. Emerging Victorious will restore the planetary font. Let's give it a go. Play Gears and Gambits. Three types of robots can, robot can be deployed, each operating in accordance with its gambits and actions, which are programmed prior to the battle. Gambits determine a target, actions determine what the robot will do to that target. For the first battle, let's use AI set by Chadley. Okay. Robots can be deployed from any of the three portals and will then move along their lane toward the enemy leader in the center. Press X to view each available robot's gambits and actions. 
The icons above foe's HP gauge indicates its elemental weaknesses. Try to deploy robots that can exploit these vulnerabilities. Cool. So, deploy. Thunder. The ATB gauge at the bottom left slowly fills, and once it has reached the required amount, you can deploy another robot. The ATB cost of each robot type varies according to its gambits and actions. Try deploying another unit once the ATB gauge is sufficiently full. Note that you can always assess enemies with square. Cool. Oh, and I can press start. Ah. As you can see by pressing L2 or R2 switches between portals, this allows you to deploy robots into other lanes and outmaneuver the enemy. The three portals share an HP gauge shown on the bottom right. If this is reduced to zero, you will lose the battle. Oh boy. So, I need to then go back here and do a fire one. Now I can do one of these. Okay, now they attack the main enemy. You can access the special abilities shared between your portals by pressing triangle. Use left and right to select a specific skill to move the area of effect and X to activate it. Okay. Okay. Damage. Alright. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. Comet went down. Okay, let's do fire. And an ice one. another comet. Remember, you must defeat the enemy leader within the allotted time. Okay, so let me send out another HP low. Okay, good. All right. Like your robot, some foes have advanced actions of their own, such as such enemies will be designated by one. So make sure to assess them with square to avoid triggering their advanced actions. Okay. seconds. 
Moan. Got him. Yay! Okay. It's kind of like Fort Condor, but different. Nice. Wow. It's a shame the others ain't here to see this. Who says they're not? <laughs> What's that? I believe that light will lead us to another set of ruins. <laughs> and another farm to fix. Is it okay if we tag along? Sure. That's awesome. Why not? We Whatever did it. Beef I've got with you HQ kids. The planet's welfare takes priority. <laughs> that was so interesting. Cool. All right, awesome. But now, like I mentioned, we should go see Chadley um, back over here. And talk to him. Uh, can't go that way. Okay. Chadley. You too have come to do a little avian investigation. While most chocobos run on land. Flying on Chocoback must be quite the thrill. Alrighty. Jump materia. Ah, oh, like that movie. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, cool. I'll buy some more. Now, combat simulator. I need to do some of these, y'all. Gotta get this done. Alright, Phoenix. Power down. Let's do cloud. Um, Tifa and Barrett. There we go. Oh! Oh, you made a little tingy. direct weaknesses. Oh, well, it's Preston's are tethered. Okay, so we'll have to kill the flan. Here we go, pressured. Don't overdo it. Let's do it. Fury. Energy. Let this rush. Let's go. Let's do. 
on you. Sag it, thank God. Yes. So the Titan may as well. Assault. We went on the ogre. Sheesh. Oh no! That's him. Hell. Victory. Yes. Good. Woo. Hell yeah. Thank you, Boulder Hell. Just like that. Dee, okay. dee. Lovely. That was a masterful victory over there Phoenix. There we go. And now. With an immortal ally like that at your side, you've Let's nothing see. to fear. Not even death. Next up. Got. Who was it again? Alexander. Let's do Hald, Aerith, and Tifa. Or actually, yeah. Electric impulse. Gotcha. 
Double Blade. Target him! Freak yeah. That's what's up. goes. Let's go. Hope you're ready. <laughs> Left arm. Save up for a second one, so let's get close if we can. There we go. Judgment. 
summon abilities, Boulder Hurl, Alexander. Said right back at ya. Five thousand. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. No time to celebrate. Nice. Good job, team. That was awesome. Congratulations on defeating him. And now his divine protection is Thank you. I look forward Puppet. to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. Alright, we did it. And now I'll sign different ones for I'm gonna get rid of instead of the Chocobo and Moogle and the Moogle trio. I'm gonna swap those out. There we go. Okay. So you have the Moogle Trio, but instead you're going to have the Phoenix. You can also get another one of these. Cool. Alright, you've got Shiva, which is good. Let's give you another one of these. You have, oh no, you've got Titan, that's good. You've got Ramu, he's good. You've got Ifrit, that's good. And you've got Chukwo and Moogle. Let's give, hmm, actually let's swap. Hmm. No, yeah, we'll give you Alexander. Alright, lovely. Done. Some of these. I'll do this another time when they've got more. Okay, next let's do maybe one of these. Skywatch is okay. Go here, fast travel, and then check out one of these, and then we can progress. I guess we gotta go up. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Is that where it was near? I think it was near here. Let's go here. Oh yeah, 50 meters. Oh, heck yeah. Destination reach. Okay, good. Such ill omens are by no means a Hello. Excuse me. Is something wrong? Ah, you again. 
Nanaki's companions, mm -hmm. yes? Forgive me. I've yet to introduce myself. I am Caesar, one of the canyon's mentors. Nice to meet you, Caesar. Now then, to answer your question, rather vile fiends have been sighted in the Vale. Ones believed to be portents of calamitous ruin. Really? Damn. The creatures have been observed on many occasions in times long since past. But always has our planet risen to the challenge, brought her might to bear and staved off disaster. It is through this unique celestial event that the planet provides us with proof of her victory. As you can see from these photographs, once the cataclysm has been averted and our world stands triumphant, gloriously resplendent comets grace the heavens. Cool. Huh. I don't see anything like that around here. Indeed. Though it should be said that none of these pictures were taken close by but rather far from our current location. Perhaps we simply cannot see the miracles from here. The falling stars may have left their marks in the skies elsewhere. We're gonna go look for them, right? Sure. As if you'd ever take no for an answer. <laughs> Truly, She's like, mm -hmm. you would do this for us? It would be a great weight off our shoulders were you to find them. Okay. If you are serious. I suggest visiting the three locations in which the fiends were last seen. The signs we seek may show themselves there. Okay. Here, use these reference materials and this recording instrument. Photograph the comets you spot, though try to ensure your pictures match ours. Celestiograph. Cool. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Thanks. Okay. No, that's different. Okay, so where... Oh, I just have to find them. Now oh boy. Then. How am I going to find them? Next? Oh no. Okay, cool, cool. Good, yay. I like that. But there are <laughs> spots <laughs> to find them. That's what I like to see. Let's try this one. Give it a best, a best shot. I failed that jump, so <laughs> I'll come back to that another time. Now, I 
can continue to the main mission. May as well. But I'll definitely come back here, obviously. I'm gonna still do more. Don't you worry. And now, may as well. Ooh, okay, around the other side. Send up a smoke signal. Not that you've got a choice, but thank you for choosing Bronco Airlines. <laughs> Sit, my friend. You couldn't give us a lift in Nibelheim, could you? Could you? A little far, but not too far, I reckon. The old girl should be more than up to the challenge. Hell yeah. Thank you, Sid. Nibel Estra. Here we go. Stars fell from my eyes. Chapter 11, The Long Shadow of Shinra. I'll see you when I see you. Thanks. Hey, Sephiroth, wait up. Bring me the black materia. It's like a mix between a memory and Sephiroth's so trying to communicate with him. You okay? Yeah. Looks like we're not the only ones headed for Nibelheim. Huh. Almost like they swung by Cosmo Canyon just so they could lead us here. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Forget about it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Summon Entity Odin. Cool. to tell you before, but the terminal's probably gone. Nibelheim burned down five years ago. It did. Uh, not to worry, though. The terminal is as snug as a buck in a rock. Because Shinra wasn't about to let that facility burn down. Meaning the reactor? Well, that's important, too. But no. I'm no expert on Nibelheim, but what I do know is that it's the only lead we have on that materia. So, not much choice. Yeah. It's this or nothing. We should get going. Okay. Oh. Click grab this. Don't over 
do it. Here I go. Go on. Fire. Lovely. Oh, there's a tower in the water. Like on an island. That's so cool. Nibelheim's not far now. First okay. time back since. Yep. First time. What about you, Tifa? Yeah. Didn't seem worth coming back till now. Didn't think there was anything to come back to. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> That's all right. Lots happened since then. Ah, uh, Cloud, stay close, would you? <laughs> mm. I honestly thought I was ready for this. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Tifa. It's just. Too real. Of course. Mm. Mm. Cheeky. Bridge. Oh. No. Doesn't look like it burnt down in the first place. What the hell? Oh. 
way. What? My thought. It exactly the way it was. They rebuilt the whole village. Why? Don't scare me like that. Thought Cloud might have lost it again. No. I mean, I thought he got us lost. And because it looks different. So, who do you think rebuilt Eve. it? Eve. Shinra. Why? Why did they do that? that? We've got a terminal to paint. out here a ton yeah and look locals I mean they aren't quite the same are they do they all work for Shinra hello there can I help you greetings good sir I am a proud employee of Shinra Resorts. And since I was nearby, I thought I might pop in and check something on the company database. And your companions? Oh, them? They are... I used to live here until... you know. I see. And are you aware of what Nibelheim is now? I don't know. No idea. Uh, five years ago, Shinra assumed direct control over this village. Of course. It now serves as a treatment center for Mako poisoning. Oh. All property rights have been transferred. If that's why you're here, contact special facilities at corporate. They'll be able to help you. Very helpful. Thank you, sir. Ah, but the database. I'll not be a wee minute. Uh, uh, I'm sure you're eager to see your hometown, but please don't stay too long. Oh. What the hell? Oh my God, that's so messed up. decided to get up and shuffle over here of their own accord, do you? Of course not. This is Shinra's doing. First, they raise a whole village because it suits them. Then they build a fake one right on top of it. Some. We can't let those corporate bastards keep getting away with this shit. We gotta do something, right? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, you're right. Screw them. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Screw We'll make them pay for what they did to y'all's home. Oh, thank you, Barrett. I love you. There's nothing There's here. There's moaning and groaning in here. All right, 
The doctor will see. Ah, uh, so that's what the doctor was. So oh, that's snaps. <laughs> oh, what a pleasant surprise. Say, why don't you and those robed folks pose for a photo? <laughs> Just us together. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Today's target is none other than Mount Nebel. Cool. No other natural formation can inspire so much dread. Just looking at it gives me goosebumps. It is a creepy Gotta get mountain. some shots around town, too. Not every day I visit Nibelheim. If you find a place worth shooting, give me a... So that's Thank Mount you. Nebel. It cuts a rather stern... Cool, that's the scenic an spot. An imposing figure. The ragged ridges jutting into the sky. Arms tight to the ears and spread the Just relax. You're all right. Some martial artist. Hey, you think? Looks like the reactor's not too far. Hey, Cloud. Ever been up there before? Yeah. Oh? Then give me the skinny. What was it like? Was there buttloads of Mako? What about, say, oh, materia? Good. Don't know, yup. Come to think of it, no. I don't know, come to think of it. Nope. Uh huh, nice try. But you can't fool me. I know what you're up to. <laughs> you want it all for yourself. I feel so bad for these people. These Aerith? Gotta lend the medical team. Question. This always been here? Yeah. Yeah. It totally screams, climb me, doesn't it? <laughs> so, let's give the poor thing what it wants and see the sights. <laughs> hey, don't just... To look at this place, you'd never know. Yeah. It's like they're trying to just erase it from history. <laughs> so, which one's your house? That one. Oh, looks cozy. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. No, don't worry about it. It's all new to you. Yeah. That building right there is the end. Where I stayed five years ago. You got the town hall. The general store. In that there? Tifa's house. <laughs> no. Tifa's checking out her. So let me guess. Old house. This is where you kept a lookout. Huh? Come on, you never came up here hoping she'd wave? I'm sure he did. Sounds like something I'd do. <laughs> Probably. Sounds like something I'd do. If I was in your shoes, I would have been up here all the time. <laughs> I'm gonna head down. I think I'm good where I am. I'll see you later. Oh, don't head down. Can if you don't more? mind, I'd like to be alone. Are you angry? Mm-hmm. No. Oh. At me? Not at you. At everything. Must be nice to have a friend you've known since you were a kid. Mm. Someone you can say, remember the time when, too? someone you can reminisce with 
I don't have anyone like that. And it feels like I'm being taunted for it, which stings Damn, more than it should. I'm so sorry. That is why I want to be alone. Plus, I might take it out on you, and I don't want that. I don't mind. Well, I do, and it'd only make me feel worse. Yeah. Thank you, though. Really. I'll be down in a bit. See you then. Well, Aerith, I'm sorry. Fresh air, peace and quiet. Not a bad place to grow up. Hmm. Okay, I'll see you down there. She feels like she's missed out on so much. Just gotta lend the medical team a hand today. I can't catch a break. All we do is bend over backwards for these people, and what do we get? You store? used to live here a long time ago, right? We'd appreciate it if you didn't cause us any trouble. Ooh. Okay. Cool. This isn't your home anymore. Remember that. All right. Oh my god. Why would you say that? That's so horrible to say. Can I go into Tifa's house? Another six months and I'm out of here. Wow, you're doing great today. You know, I came up around here. Way back in the day. It's strange. None of the buildings look like I remember. Where did all the people who used to live here go? Life is so much more relaxed here. I love it. If only things could always be so peaceful. That's sick. Can I go in? You certainly don't look ill. Oh, this Passing is the treatment through, center. I take it. If you are feeling unwell, though, you'll have to wait. We need to tend to our current patients first. You might have noticed how some of our patients have. Someone's up here. Tifa, yeah, it is Tifa. You know, since I made it the medical like center. I never understood it. Why'd my dad go into the reactor? Why chase Sephiroth? Thought about it ever since waking up in Corel. It just seemed like such a bad idea. I mean, what did he think he was gonna do? Fight a famous war hero and win? Well, he didn't. But after moving to Midgar, after making a life for myself, I finally realized where my dad was coming from. He was angry. And he'd had enough. Everything he'd worked so hard for, had been destroyed in an instant. All that he'd built for himself, for us, gone. Sephiroth had burned it to the ground. That's why he went, even though he had to have known how it'd end. I see. And like him, I took my pain, my grief, everything I was feeling. I took it all and turned it into anger. Anger that led me to avalanche. <laughs> the problem is, Anger doesn't last. So when Avalanche started to become more violent, there wasn't enough left to hold back the fear and the doubt. Mm. It was taking a toll. Then you turned up. Like was fate, I never knew that. Have I helped you get through it all? Have I helped you get through it at all? Yeah, you have. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have had the courage to come back here. A lot's happened, but... Now that we're here, I know this was the right decision. Because now I know they rebuilt everything, tried to sweep what they did under the rug and pretend it never even happened. Yeah. But I won't let them. I can't. Sephiroth and his cruelty. Shinra and their lies. I'm sick of all of it. I understand that. Hey, remember when we were kids? How you'd, you know, Always be looking at me. Huh. I, uh, what? <laughs> Ever
Every time we made eye contact, you'd look away. And when I tried to talk to you, you'd ignore me. Oh my god. I'm surprised. I was a pain in the ass as a kid. <laughs> I was the opposite. I needed everyone to like me all the time. Part of me still does, I think. I kinda hate that about myself. Wow. Okay, so the only one I haven't talked to is Red slash Nanaki. I don't know where he is. Alrighty, everyone. I'm gonna leave this episode here. I really, well, <laughs> really hope you all enjoy. Please be sure to <laughs> leave a like and subscribe if you would like to. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!